What's going on everyone? Welcome to another Keyshot Quick Tip. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at Keyshot 10.2's new paint selection feature in the Split Object Surfaces tool window. To get started with the paint selection tool, you'll first want to select the surface you'd like to split. Then, open the Split Object Surfaces window by right-clicking and selecting Split Object Surfaces or by selecting it through the Tools menu located on the ribbon along the top of the real-time view. With the window open, you'll notice that the layout appears relatively familiar. The only noticeable difference between previous versions and the current version is the information below the Polygon Selection option. In this new section, you'll now find information explaining how to use both the Marquee Selection tool and the Brush tool when selecting your object surface area. Here you'll also find the Brush Size parameter, which can be controlled via inputting a numerical value into the available field or by adjusting the parameter slider between the values of 0.01 and 0.2. Once your brush is set to the desired size, make sure that the Polygons option is selected and begin painting the surface you'd like to split. Something to note when using this tool is that every time you stop painting and begin painting again, your previously selected polygons will reset and the newly selected polygons will be the only highlighted area. In order to prevent your selection from resetting, simply hold down Ctrl and Alt simultaneously when painting a new area of your model. Using the Ctrl Alt method ensures that all selected polygons will be grouped together, similar to shift clicking in many other programs. This also makes it incredibly easy to paint complex surfaces that wrap around to different sides of the model, much like the vehicle body I'm using here. Thanks for watching this Keyshot Quick Tip. If you're interested in more useful Keyshot content, hit that subscribe button and get notified as soon as new videos hit the channel. Don't forget to let us know your thoughts on this tutorial in the comment section below. And if you found this video useful, give it a like and share with your friends.